Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, as usual, we are working on Natalie, our Ruby implementation. A uh, lot of fun. Recently, I was looking at our hash function, which computes the hash value when we're doing an insertion into a hash map. And uh, I think there's a lot to be desired here. Uh, I remember writing this and thinking, ah, I'm just gonna get it done. So it's probably a good time to come back to this and see if we can optimize it a little bit. We're gonna be doing some profiling with uh, Valgrind and uh, visualizing it with kcachegrind. And uh, I guess we need some code to run to do that. So let's just, uh, let's do uh, our customary wat.rb and uh, if I do 10,000 times, uh, I guess I need a hash, and I say that um, I just want to insert uh, something. Let's insert an integer key uh, and a string key and a uh, symbol key. We'll do all three, uh, and then let's just print the hash size. And yeah, let's run that. Uh, ben Natalie Watt. Make sure it actually does run. I expect to see 30,000 on the size. Uh, I'm not gonna print it out. That would be screenful after screenful. But uh, I think we can trust that, that that did what we wanted it to. And this is gonna exercise three different types of keys. These are pretty common key types, symbols and strings, and uh, I'd say integers are a little bit less common, but we'll we'll throw those in there too. Uh, so we need a baseline uh, profile to see, you know, where we can go from here. And uh, I actually have the tool built in. You just pass dash D K cache grind, and it um, runs it through call grind, uh, and then it opens up the profile so you can visualize it. Oh, you know what I didn't do though? And I always get in trouble <laughs> from this from you guys because I did not compile in release mode. So uh, let's let's just cancel this and go do that real quick. Uh, so let's um, make build release. Okay, so <laughs> recompiled in release mode. We're gonna run this through kcache grind. Okay, so that took a while, but we uh, we got it going here. And I'm looking for um, the kernel module hash function, and hopefully, hopefully I can find it. Well, I totally missed it, I guess. I think I can search. Ah, there it is. Okay, so let's close that. Does it stay highlighted? It does. Uh, so, right off the bat, um, something that's interesting is that this actually doesn't take as much time as I thought it would, uh, but it's actually being called 63. Thousand times. Uh, I guess I should show you where that's where that's being called, and let's go look uh, in hash value CPP. If I do a put, uh, we call hash here. Uh, but why would we call it sixty thousand times? I am I am thinking that's wrong, right? This should be. 30,000 times, not 60. Uh, so what's happening here? Hash map, put, key list, append. Well, let's just look for um, intern hash. It is called when we call remove, that's different. Um, oh, the key list append function actually calls hash again. Well, looky there. Uh, that's that's an easy win. We could fix that. There's no reason to call it twice. I mean, just make sure. So we call keyless append when you call put. Um, we the the way the way we uh, maintain ordering in our hash map is we have a uh, a linked list of all the keys. Uh, so I guess when I wrote this, I just wasn't thinking like, why would I call that twice? Okay, 
fun. Um, let's do uh, this. It just seems nicer to have its own variable hash. And let's just pass it in uh, right here. This will be uh, nat int t hash. I think is that right? Uh, seems seems right. Uh, I did forget my semicolon there. Uh, and then let's go over to hash value and uh, fix this signature nat int t. Okay. So are you happy? Okay, first, uh, I, I forgot. I wanted to run uh, time on this. Copy this times txt. I want sort of a comparison before and after. So we'll just leave that there. Okay, so now I think I can run um, Go ahead and change this so we reuse this hash value. We don't call it again, hash. Save that. Run k cache grind. Let's go ahead and run it with time again and see if the time goes down a little bit. And then we'll run k cache grind. Looks like it went down, yeah, 2.3. Look at that, times. Uh, so that was the second iteration there and we're gonna run come on okay so we got an got another one here uh so boo 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 where's kernel module at kernel module where you be um man i'm really struggling to find that kernel module hash is right there Oh, I was at the very bottom and I just missed it. Uh, well, yeah, we're down to 30,000 times. And um, if we go look at the other profile, this was 0.17% of the the runtime. Um, let's do it not relative. Let's see instructions. 7.4 million instructions uh, versus... 3.7 million instructions. So yeah, I mean, that went way down. That's pretty cool. Uh, pretty easy, <laughs> pretty easy performance gain there. Just not doing the same work twice. Uh, that's not even what I came here to do. What I came here to do was uh, to see if I could optimize this a little bit for different types of keys. So um, let's just try it. I don't know. Let's try, uh, um, if we switch on the type of the value that we have and we just say this is the default case uh something like that and if the type is uh, a string then why don't we we don't need to call inspect um inspect there's just extra work being done there uh, we don't need to call it inspect on a string. Let's just use the actual string value. Oops, as string. Um, we'll just get the C string out of that and we'll call hash map hash string on that string, which should skip a whole bunch of steps. So if I go to string value and look at inspect, I mean, look at all the work this is doing. Uh, it's doing like escaping and it, it prepends like a quote and it puts a quote on the end and um yeah it's just a bunch of work we don't really need to do let's uh let's just call hash string on the actual string and i think i think that's good um i don't even need that sort of temporary variable there let's just return it like this uh, and then I guess for symbols, I'm just going to do the same thing. Symbol, this is a symbol, get the C string out of it. Now, the only downside to that is that, um, you know, foo and foo will have the same, you know, hash. It's going to get one, two, three or whatever. Uh, I mean, I guess that is 
sometimes the case in, in Ruby where you'll have a string and a symbol key that is the same. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I think that's fairly uncommon. It it won't it won't they won't step on each other because the hash implementation still compares that they are two separate uh, values. So it's just going to move down. So so it's going to try to find a slot using this hash, and and that slot's going to be taken. And so it's just going to move down one. Uh, it's fine. It's not as efficient, but I mean, really, you shouldn't be putting strings and symbols. Um, that are identical in the same hash anyway, so I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just try this. See if see if it even works for one. Um. So let's do our time thing again. See if the time went down at all. I didn't do anything special for integers. I'm not sure how, what to do with an integer. I mean, I really just need to turn it into a string which is what inspect does already. So I guess this is fine for integers. Uh, okay, so two, let's just run that again. 2.055, yeah, okay, well, <laughs> it actually went up. But um, let's look at times, I mean, look at that. Hey, it went down quite a bit. So we went from 2.7 to 2.3 and then 2.1. Um, yeah, that's cool. Let's look at uh, key cache grind. Okay, and uh, it's been kind of near the bottom every time, hasn't it? Am I just doing this wrong? See, every time I, I look for it, kernel module, I look for it and I can't find it every time. How does this happen? Kernel module, hash, there it is. Okay, uh, it went up to 0.31. Now that's interesting, right? So 2.973, let's just look at, yeah, let's not look at it relatively. Uh, so this was the other one. Yeah, this was 3.7 million instructions and this is 2.9. So definitely fewer instructions happening. I mean, I, I think I'm saying that right. I don't know, really know what this number is. I assume it's, because this says IR here. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing, by the way. Uh, IR67 million. Hash binding. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever that number is. It going down. When it goes down, that's good. <laughs> I know that. Uh, so, let's see. So, this was the 60,000. So, the 7.4. For, this is the first run we did 7.4 million things <laughs> and then uh, we went down to 3.7 and then we down to 2.9 so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool um, I feel really good about that actually uh, let's just close all these and times, um, I mean, yeah, and this kind of, this is the end result. This is the actual, you know, you're going to feel that um, 2.7 seconds to 2.1. I'd say that's pretty significant. So um, what else, I mean, what else can we do? Is that it? Does this feel like a good solution? Um, I might make a note here. No string key foo and symbol foo. Let's see, string foo and symbol foo will get the same hash. Probably, that's probably okay, but maybe worth revisiting. Yeah. I'll just put that there just to just remind myself that that's a thing. I mean, I guess if it be, if it was a problem, I could do some sort of XOR or something here. To, I don't know. Um, I could do nat max int minus that or something. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it, though.
just <laughs> just for funsies though let's do uh ben natalie hash is this hash foo is one hash foo is two um hash foo I mean, I'd hate to break something. Let's just run the tests and make sure nothing broke. And uh, I feel really good about that optimization. <laughs> pretty easy, pretty easy win for today. Well, looky there, all the tests are passing and uh, that's just so cool. That's just so cool. We went from 2.7 seconds to 2.1. Uh, albeit, I understand that is a very uh, uh, synthetic benchmark, but still this is gonna have a real performance impact on uh, on scripts that use hashes so feel really good about it thanks for hanging out uh hey if you want to get involved please uh jump right in we have some issues that are open good first issue good first issue some things that we're implementing you don't have to know any c plus plus for a lot of these you can uh work in the ruby code directly uh so for instance enumerable.rb uh, a lot of these methods are implemented in ruby and so um, it's just filling in some of the missing methods that are part of the uh, built-in objects and standard library and um, it's a lot of fun and so we've had a lot of people contributing to Natalie over the last few months of how we're now up to 12 contributors which is fantastic and I hope that you'll be the 13th uh, it's a lucky number it's lucky number 13 uh, thanks for hanging out with me today and I hope that you learned something I know that I had a lot of fun doing the profiling and uh, uh, just some quick wins on performance that uh, always makes me feel good. So I hope that you had a good time. I will see you in the next video.